Hello, this is the private eye. So, have you been looking at a, let's say, a mythical skin? Like a corrosive urban. Uh, okay, I'll explain this. But have you been looking at a really cool mythical skin, but you don't have the cash to pay it, or you don't want to confront your parents that you want to spend money on a video game? Trust me, I've I've been there. Uh. Well, I can tell you how you can get skins for free, and it's not hacking the game. So, for example, look at this. I was able to turn an urban cobra into this, and it actually clips in, oh, come on, it actually clips in game. I did the same for my urban honey badger and my desert calling card pretty cool right okay now bear with me because this is going to get a little bit slow but it'll be worth it so right here you right click unturned right here you go to properties local files browse local files and it brings you to this the unturned file over here you can do stuff like make a server um like for example here's my server right there private server it's pretty cool but that's not what you're getting into see this econ info click this now look at this that is a wind up key that's a cosmetic rare backpack so this is the skin so let's say i have a vampire cape which i used to but i turned into crafting materials because it's useless <laughs> well you see my the cape may have like let's say this might be its id okay well that this is going to So, this will be right there. So, what you do is, let's say, and then I can just copy and paste this into the item ID, and I can turn my vampire cape into a wind up key. Pretty cool, right? So, what you have to do for gun skin is press Sertle S. Now, let's say I have a let's see what do I have Ooh, I have an urban meh okay now first off I'm sorry but I have the mashlinger Ma like how do you spell that like seriously okay see this that is this is the ID for to make it a mashlinger skin you don't want to change this. You change this for gun skins. So, I want a... Let's see. I'm going to go on the internet. Let <laughs> so, I finally got on the computer. And because of the update, all the skins that I just kind of hacked into are gone. Which, I'll have to show you how you can prevent that. Hold on. So we have this. Um, uh, let's uh, Urban Bunny Badger. Okay, this is gonna want. I want that one. 
Okay, and now I don't want that one. That's the one I don't want. Okay, I want a, um, oh, fudge. Foxtail? Yeah. Okay, so I found the one I want. Foxtail. This is not the one I, I had originally, but I don't care. So there we go. So there we go. I just changed that skin. Easy as pie. Now let's go to my Urban Cobra. Okay, I guess I have to go up, don't I? There you go. So, this is going to be hard. So, what I want to do is change the ID, which is 99, and the items... Well, you see... Okay, first off, find this going to want. I want a corrosive eagle fire. Which, I, 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 I just don't want a corrosive. I want a bubbling corrosive maybe cosmic I think cosmic would do yeah so what I do is I get a pen get some paper and write down the stuff so item ID is 4 20 item skin is 20 the effect is 10 and the I and see this this is what you want to change bam this is what changes the skin Just kidding. You you don't want anything to do with that. It's just these three. But you still want... See this? Copy and paste that. Okay, sorry. I'm a little bit rusty. Sometimes you just have to figure this out on the go. Urban Cobra. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go up. Now, I want item effect 10... Item skin twenty, and item ID four, and I, and then I want to change this into an eagle fire skin. There we go. And while we're at it, um, let's look up the explorer hat. There we go. See this? That's the ID. I just have to copy and paste this. This is for this is for skins that you put on your person. So, I have a, um, early access, whatever, I don't know how to spell, barrette, there we go. So now I just have to put it in here, bink, replace it, Re you just have to replace it, and now that early access barrette turns into an explorer hat. There we go, so now I'm going to restart, unturn, and let's see my skins change. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Oh, by the way, by the way, pff, shut up, my bad. Okay, so by the way, if you, um, if you start the game with, um, in here, it, it doesn't have battle eye, as you see there. So you have to do it from the desktop. Just telling you. See, now look, my hat has changed. And let's find, ah, that looks sweet. Now, let's see what happened to my Urban Cobra. Yes. Look at this. Ooh. That looks sweet. Doesn't it? Yeah. 
So, how do you, when there's an update, how do you keep it the same? It's so simple. See this? This is going to take a while. Just kidding. Okay, sorry, sorry. But what you do is you do CIRTL A, which uh, copies everything. Then CIRTL C. Now, go into your desktop and um, create a new create something new what you want to create is a text document and then you copy and paste it there you go save now what will happen is during an update you, all you have to do is go in here delete this and drag that into here but before you have to do that, what you have to do is right click it and you have to copy. You have to make two of them. So that way you don't have to redo all your skins, which I just made a mistake of. So yeah, you can get, one thing I have to tell you is that you can only have skins, like I can only, I can turn my katana into stuff. So you can only get as many skins as you have in your inventory. And with crates, you can't make a key and open a box a box with the key. You actually have to buy the keys. But what's the point of buying a key when you could just do what I just did and get any of these you want? The only reason you'd want them is to get the skin themselves. But as I showed you, I could turn an urban cobra into this. I hope you... And Hope this will, will help you and you can get some cool skins that you can flaunt off to your friends. I'm the Private Eye. Goodbye.